Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to use math in everyday life. Now, we're going to talk about some examples in which it is used in everyday life, and it's more around you than you might think. But any, to get there, you typically use a pencil, paper, and a calculator if you need it to kind of see where the math is used in everyday life. So here we go with a few strategies. Now, one way, and it's arguably the most popular way that math is used in everyday life, is in financial mathematics. It's really all around you, not just with investments, uh, if you have a portfolio, but also if you were to balance a checkbook, do your taxes, there's a lot of numbers involved, a lot of decimals there, and so financial math is an, it's a huge part of our everyday lives, and it's arguably something that you use daily. Another area in which math is used in everyday life is in the area of cooking. If you, if you cook a lot, chances are that uh, you'll see a lot of recipes that require whole numbers, but also a lot of fractions, whether it be a quarter of a cup here, a half a cup, a half a tablespoon, teaspoon, etc. But there's a lot of fractions, some whole numbers, and decimals, and to create that perfect recipe in cooking. Statistics. Statistics is used in everyday life as well. If you take part in a survey, write a, write a census form out, or if you were to conduct a series of experiments, whether it be conducting studies to, to engage folks in behavior, etc., statistics is used in everyday life. Also in news reports when they talk about political polls, what people feel about things. Statistics is a part of our everyday life and statistics is a branch of mathematics. There's some other areas I didn't mention here, like nursing where measurements involved, but the more you dig into each area, the more you'll discover that math is used a lot more often than you might think. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that is how math is used in everyday life.